Hello everybody, this is Ace Stocky here and welcome to something um, just a little bit different for me. Uh, for those of you who've been watching my channel for quite a long time, you'll know that um, kind of when DayZ first came out, um, I bought a copy of Armour 2 and Armour 2 um, Combined Operations and I downloaded the DayZ mod and then I saw that basically everyone on YouTube was playing it and I had a quick look at one or two of the videos and I love the idea of the game but I'm not a huge fan of uh, MMORPG type things and I'm not a huge fan of that that whole constantly online thing where I mean it, it's some people love it but for me the whole interacting with other people and you know potentially having other people steal all the hard-earned loot that you could find uh, that's not really my thing so I kind of avoided um, hmm I have no mouse cursor where'd you go mouse cursor that's odd. Hello? Ah, it's come back now. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I kind of avoided playing DayZ, uh, but I've just recently found out that there is a thing you can get now, and this is it just here. It's called DayZ, kind of like the flower but with a Z. And in this particular case, it's DayZ Factions, and basically, it's single player DayZ, so I can play it offline it's my own world, it's still persistent, everything's still basically the same uh, the factions part of DayZ has tweaked the game a little bit to make the AI act uh, a little more ruthless and a little bit more like real players uh, there's also the R mod which allows a whole lot of variation of skins and things uh, based on all the, all the content of uh, Armored 2 um, then there's the community base add-ons which allows for some really cool mods one of those is the CO War mod, which basically changes the AI completely and makes the pathfinding better, makes them just better in huge amounts of different ways. So that's a that's a really cool a really cool mod. And then the expansion of the beta, that's not really important. All well, that that is just that I'm playing the, the beta expansion of Armor 2, which is what's now required for DayZ. But anyhow, um, I'm not gonna do an install tutorial because there's some really good ones out there, but I'll put a link in the video on how you can get uh, all of the mods if, if you want to do this yourself but basically you go to single player scenarios and you have in this case I've got a couple of different ones uh, that's the original Daisy I've also got Daisy factions and it comes with two options one for bandits and one not the bandit one basically makes all the uh, the NPCs much more hostile um, the standard one has a chance of some of them being friendly and teaming up with you and things so that's why I'm going to go for this one and there's also Daisy Factions 2017 which is a, a mod that's supposed to happen you know a number of years after the original Daisy and it's kind of it's it's a much harder surviving kind of thing there's there's way less military equipment and ammunition uh, it's much harder to find food and things but I'm going to stick with the basic Daisy Factions um, I was testing it a little while ago trying to do some recording and ended up not recording and because of that uh, I had a, a, a world but I'm going to restart and everything should work exactly the same as a normal world uh, the difference would be that instead of it being like a normal actual world what you'll end up with is you'll end up um, with a, a a single player kind of option selection and then a bunch of other you know single player related sort of things and then you'll spawn and then from that point it's just like regular day Z except instead of there being um, internet jerks that kill you um, you have a whole lot of um, AI jerks that are just out to kill you and then of course you have a whole lot of zombies that are just out to eat you and a whole bunch of other stuff like that but seems to be we're well, not freezing up but it definitely seems to be taking its sweet time so I might pause the video oh wait maybe maybe here we are Let's hope this works. Here we are, we're in. So yeah, there's a bunch of really cool fixes in this. One of them is self blood bag. Now I'm gonna I've I've printed off a basic kind of map. Um, I'm only gonna refer to it right now. Uh, but it says I'm near pre Godriki. Okay. Now that is basically dead south center of the map. So that's the only thing I'm actually going to basically do here. Um, looking around, it's 
looking a little dark actually hoping I can work out kinda where I am um, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna head basically north now for those of you who are interested um, I would be happy to do a bit of a let's play of this I'm not really intending to do a huge amount uh, in this first episode it's going to be just a quick bit of an intro just to make sure that things work and in fact what I'm going to do right now is just pause this video quickly and just make sure it's recording correctly because it's well like I said last time the recording kind of failed on me and then we'll see how things go so back in a moment okay so I'm back and the first thing that you'll probably notice which is a little bit different about my menu is down the bottom here I have call for support and basically this is a mod of the game that allows you to request intel, request vehicle drops, weapon drops, magazine drops, change your skin, uh, you can change the clock. Um, I don't intend to use any of the options that come with it except for potentially changing the clock. Now because this is uh, a DayZ server that's running on my PC I'm not sure how the timing works, whether it bases itself on real game timing or whether it's based on uh, the time that my PC is set out. I don't know how that's going to work yet but I can hear someone that does not sound good I can really hear them and that doesn't sound good at all yeah that doesn't doesn't sound even slightly good. I'm not seeing any of them though. But yeah, certainly um, Daisy. For those of you who haven't played, uh, it starts off really slow, like really, really slow. Um, I'm just gonna. Yep, looking good. Uh, I currently have a bandage, some painkillers, a flashlight and a patrol pack and if I open my patrol pack up you can see on the left hand side that it is absolutely empty so I've basically got no stuff at all and clearly having no stuff isn't the ideal way to survive oh there we go seen our first lumbering zombie now one of the advantages of it being kinda twilight like this is that the AI have a lot of trouble seeing me if I'm not moving I can you know lay down and I'm virtually invisible which which is pretty awesome being invisible is cool so you can see there just through the bushes there um, oh no that's not a house darn it Ah, there's some houses, okay. So I knew somewhere just north of that beach there's a town. It's always a bit of a question though to find out exactly where it is. So I'm sure just up this way I saw... No, oh there he is. I was going to say, I knew I, I knew I saw someone walking around. I'm going to try and get myself across the train tracks into the bushes and see how things go, but basically Um, I'm looking to try and survive. Currently have no stuff. I'm looking to try and find some stuff. And I'm looking to try and not get killed while I'm finding stuff. Okay, there's some buildings over that way and some some zombies. Yeah, so there's, uh, well, other than the support call that I have installed, which is a mod that doesn't show up as a mod by itself, it doesn't actually show up in the, like, the front homepage screen, um, but it is, it's a really useful mod that allows you to, like I said, spawn in different weapons and vehicles and things like that. Pretty much any item in the game uh, can be spawned in with this call for support menu, so if we go... 
uh, weapon drop. It'll populate a list of all the weapons that you currently have installed. Just wait a little while while it does that. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long at all. And then we have the list. We can scroll down and see that there's a huge amount of stuff. Uh, you can ask for watches, shovels. I think maps are on here as well. Yeah, map. So you can pretty much request anything to be airdropped in. Uh, the other thing that it includes is it includes a cheat menu where you double press uh, zero. Now, you can use that to heal yourself, spawn items, spawn weapons, change what you look like, change your skin. Uh, most of those don't have any real use. The sound bug restore, though, is the one that I think is likely to be the most useful. And the reason for that is I have seen from other people playing that sometimes you get a bug where the game does something funky and you lose all of the sound except for like the ambient music. Now, in, in a lot of games, that wouldn't be a huge deal. Uh, in this game though, as you're sneaking and stealthing around, hearing zombies before they eat you is super, super extra important. Uh, so important, in fact, that if the sound goes out, you pretty much get eaten. Just going to dash over here. Okay. Hearing the crickets. I can't tell if that moon's rising or setting. But if I was right at the south and I've been kind of heading north, that should be the west. Which means the sun is on its sorry the moon is on its way down, which should mean the sun is on its way up. So maybe things won't be too bad for me. We've got a fence here, looking to see if there's any kind of buildings that maybe are a little off the main road that I might be able to get to. It's kind of a good thing to try and cover all this ground in in, in you know like the twilight kind of time, because. I mean, zombies suck, but um, when you see me crap my pants and hit the deck, um, that's because someone is shooting at me, and the someone would be an AI, and like I said, the AI is really ruthless. Um, the last time I played this, I didn't play for very long, and I got shot by um, some kind of AI person in a town, I don't know who or why. And then after that, after avoiding a bunch of zombies, I got shot by a bandit patrol vehicle. At least that's what I think it was. Got a. Those guys are wandering off that way. I'll try and get around behind them. Could clearly have just gone badly. He's not looking this way though, so that might mean that I'm okay. Barbed wire fence. Okay. Take stock of where we are. He didn't find me, he's not following me. I mean, there are a lot of really good stealth games out there. The stealth in this game is not implemented in a way that would be terribly fun. Like, if you played a Splinter Cell type game and stealth was implemented like this, oh crap, don't don't run. Uh, it would just drive you crazy. Like, you'd... You would uh, want to get your money back for the game, because stealth in this is really hard. There he is, right in front of me. Darn it, sun's coming up and I'm caught out in the open. Come on, 
Crawl for your life. Crawl for your life. Crawl for your life. Totally gonna make it. Totally gonna make it. Totally gonna make it. Okay, totally gonna make it. Now that I've made it, I'm not sure if it's gonna help me that much. Is that an imp See, if these aren't open doors, you can't get in, and that means there's no stuff in them. And that stinks. Okay, I'm gonna jump this fence. Crouch back down. Pray that nobody saw me. Keep moving. Now, I have not uh, watched very much at all of other people playing this either. So in terms of uh, spoilers and that kind of stuff and and knowing where things are, I don't really have a good idea of where stuff is either. So, I mean, you guys are probably looking at the screen going, ah, if you just go to blah blah blah, you'll find they've got heaps of good loot there. But, um, I think it's awesome that I don't know where things are. I think it's definitely going to do a good job of making it much harder. Um, there's a monkey dude. I also think that the fact that um, the game doesn't come with a map is going to do an excellent job of making it much harder. Keep crawling this way. He's hopping past me. Excellent, like he hasn't seen me. Now this is going to be a bit of a risky move here. Because I'm about to start moving on gravel. I love the fact that he can just spin so well. Okay, nothing there. Making a mad dash. I saw a door open. Come on. How do I close that door? That did not sound good. What have we got here? Take hunting knife. Couple of AK mags. Now, how do I do that? I want to get this thing. I want to right click. Um, what am I doing? I'm doing something incorrectly. Because I was of the belief that. Um, I could like right click on a hunting knife and say see I thought there was a way I could use the knife yeah darn it I really thought there was a way I could use the knife as a, as a weapon maybe hunting knives are not weapons maybe they're just tools This game is so stressful. So, if you guys would be interested in seeing me play more of this, um, please put a comment in the description and let me know. Um, okay, see me, run.
Okay. Um, hopefully, evaded the zombie menace. Hopefully. I was also kind of hoping there'd be some stuff in here. Not seeing any stuff in here. Um, if he goes for the stairs, I'm in a bit of trouble. Because if he goes for the stairs, um, there's no way down for me. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are interested in seeing more of this, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to play some more of it in, in the spare time that I have. I could probably, you know, do one half hour or so episode a week, you know, showing my progress to survival. Because, um, it, again, it's single player. There's no sort of limits on how long I can play for or when I can play. It's going to kind of work to my own likings and my own devices. So I think that'll be really cool. It really just comes down to, do you guys want to see more of this? And, you know, if you do, awesome. If you if you don't want to see more, that's cool as well. Just let me know. I'll still, uh, I'll still probably play it. I just won't likely record it and probably won't play it as much. Yeah. Wish I had a weapon. Really wish I had a weapon. Hoping that's just the sound of me dragging my big ass. Kind of not a good door user either. Anyhow, um, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys are interested and would like to see more. Until next time, A Stocky out.